Ocean Walk, located in the 1400 block of Southwest Loop 410, failed their December 1st health inspection with a score of 69. They racked up 22 violations, including four repeat violations. They included keeping foods in the danger zone without providing cooling logs showing when the items were made. Raw meats were stored in bowls stacked on top of each other without coverings, while other meats were also improperly stored. Workers weren't washing hands properly, and the kitchen area needed a thorough cleaning. A reinspection was required. El Canelo No. 7, located in the 3500 block of Culebra, earned a 77 and a temporary shutdown. The inspector closed the business due to not having hot water. In addition to that, they had several cans of residential use bug spray stored near food. They were also missing a current food permit. The business allowed to reopen when the hot water was restored. <laughs> Palomar, Comida, and Cantina in the 12,000 block of West Avenue earned an 80 on their December inspection. They were told to stop storing prepackaged drinks and fruits in the same ice used for customer drinks. Knives and utensils were put away dirty. There was a presence of flying insects throughout the business with a concentration near the bar. Multiple food items were expired and the ice scoop was being stored on the dirty surface of the ice machine. They were given 10 days to buy an updated permit. The Jim's Coffee Shop, located at 351 West Hildebrand, continues to deal with pest problems. The last time we stopped by the business in April, they had a 78 and were dealing with a rodent problem. The business saw its score improve slightly to an 81, but the mice were still an issue in late November. The inspector found rodent droppings and there was a dead mouse stuck to a glue trap. The business told to address the problem in time for a reinspection. <laughs> Nick Smart, located in the 400 block of New Laredo Highway, earned an 86. They had food on shelves for sale that was expired in October. The ice machine had a black substance growing inside. They weren't properly labeling foods packaged in the store, and there was no hot water for employees to wash their hands before handling food. Live and dead roaches were found in a walk-in cooler, but there was no food inside because the kitchen isn't currently in use. From behind the kitchen door, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.